Welcome to the Minimasters and today I'm going to show you guys how to check the timing on your truck. So first things first, you want to grab yourself a timing light. This is a nice cheapo from the auto parts store. And then there's a little prep work that you'll need to do. So the timing light, you'll take it and you're going to be aiming it down right through here at your harmonic balancer that's straight ahead. And so you're trying to look for these tick marks that are right there on your harmonic balancer. They're hard to see. So the next step, you're gonna to wanna to mark them. So let's climb under there. So I'm under my truck right now and I have a breaker bar right here with a short extension on a 24 millimeter socket. And I use that to turn the engine over so that I can get these tick marks to phase down, okay? And as you can see, I've already taken the liberty of marking them. So I marked zero, I've marked 10 before and I've marked 10 after you don't have to go and mark the rest of these unless you're doing some real kind of advanced timing type stuff. And I just put A to show that this was after. This one is a uh, uh, before side. So you wanna mark them because that's the best way to see them from the top using the timing light. So the next crucial step in the process was to turn your engine on, get it up to operating temperature, and then turning it off. And at this point, there's two steps you gotta do. A, you're gonna wanna hook up your timing light, which is very simple. You're gonna locate the number one cylinder. So on the V8, that's this one, the spark plug wire. And you're just gonna kinda trace it back. So I happen to know it's this one that's shaking right there. And you're gonna take this thing on your timing light and you're actually gonna reach in here and you're gonna clamp it around it. It should fit right in that notch okay just like that make sure you're not in your radiator fan there then you're going to take these two clamps very simple put your red on the red black on the black now you've got power once you turn the truck on and then finally you're going to want to disconnect your spout connector so on this truck and this year and engine my spout connector is right here Okay, so you actually pull this gray thing out of here and that will disconnect it. On other models, I believe it is actually right next to the Dizzy. So make sure you check and you pull the right one, but on this truck, it's right there. Once that's pulled, you'll start your truck and we can start setting the timing. So I'm up here standing on top of the engine. I have my timing light. And so I'm gonna position it just about here. There's some tick marks eliminating there. Now it's hard to see this on camera, but we're about a three or two short of the 10 degree mark. And we really want to be on top of that for this engine. So I'm going to shut the engine off and we'll make some adjustments. So for those of you who've actually checked the timing on your truck or made any adjustments, you know at this point you don't have to shut the engine off. However, I'm doing that because I left this bolt tight. Now this bolt here at the base of your distributor is actually what holds this little uh, hexagonal piece down and it clamps the distributor. Now I've loosened mine, so I'll give you a little demo. And you can see I can actually turn the distributor and that's how you adjust your timing. So what I'm gonna do, zooming out here, is I'm literally gonna have one hand on the timing light pointing down, looking at the tick mark, and I'll have one hand on the distributor and I'll be turning it ever so slightly to get that tick mark to line up exactly where I want it, which for this 5.0 engine is at least top dead, 10 degrees top dead center, if not just a little bit farther. So I'm gonna do that and this thing should purr. So once you're done adjusting your timing, you just reach in here with your half inch socket, on there like that and tighten it up. So I'm not aware of any specific torque requirement for that, although you're welcome to look it up, but I just do hand tight like that and it should move. And just like that, you have adjusted the timing on your truck. See ya.